Yeah. Well, I mean, from my end, it's, you know, I feel like I have kind of a unique, um, like Jen was saying earlier, potentially unique audience and potentially a unique ability to reach people who, you know, aren't usually super involved in politics or just don't know a lot about it. And I think a lot of times when people don't know a lot about politics, um, they'll immediately either go to the mainstream news or they just will say, oh, I don't know much about it. I'll leave that to the politicians, et cetera, et cetera. And so I really want to make my show um, and, and bring up, obviously, um, you know, big issues like, you know, what we see with, you know, what happened with the American Rescue Plan and what's going on with Assange, just uh, I mean, Syria, all these things that, you know, a lot of people, especially when it comes to foreign policy and, and stuff like Julian Assange, people don't, you know, they stay away from it because they feel like they're not knowledgeable about it or they just don't even know what's going on. So that's kind of what I want to bring um, you know, more people into, you know, just be more knowledgeable about this stuff because it, it really does affect every, you know, all of our daily life, right? And, you know, what we do overseas, um, you, you see done here, right? You see uh, carried out on the streets in, in the United States. What happens to Julian is happening to Julia Assange is 100% going to happen to another journalist um, who's expo exposing war crimes if we don't stand up for Julian Assange, um, and stand up against the government, you know, obviously trying to extradite him and uh, continuously torturing him. So I think it's 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 important to be a leader on these type of things. And it's important to speak out when there is a media blackout, because, I mean, we are independent media really is all Julian uh, has um, speaking out for him and defending him. So I think that's uh, vitally important for us to do that. Yeah. And Jordan, I know you of, uh, know the suffering of independent media and what is going on and how everybody is being suppressed and not getting their voice out. But obviously, it doesn't compare to what's happening to Julian Assange. Um, but I know that you definitely have thoughts on the blackout of this and how it's not being covered by mainstream media. Yeah, I think that, and thanks for having me. I think that um, a lot of people, when it comes to Julian Assange, are really uh, rightly focused on <clears throat> the Department of Justice and the FBI, and in this case, Biden continuing the policies of Trump. But in reality, uh, the reason that this has been able to go forward is because of the corporate media. Um, I, I, from my own experience, uh, I recall I was arrested a couple years ago just covering a Black Lives Matter rally in St. Louis. And I spent, uh, I don't know, not not too long, maybe like six, 16 hours uh, in jail overnight. But when I got out, I, I literally had to beg CNN's Brian Stelter just to do 30 <laughs> seconds on reliable sources. Cause I don't know. I figured he might take issue with a journalist being arrested, doing their job. Of course he wouldn't do it. And he basically told me, well, you know, we only really cover mainstream, uh, journalists. So I, I bring that up because if any of these mainstream outlets, uh, were saying anything, about this injustice regarding Julian Assange, uh, Biden would have never went forward with the appeal. Uh, if if the same corporate journalists would have the same express the same outrage uh, about Julian Assange that they do, for example, and and uh, Des Moines Register journalist uh, was arrested covering a protest and like charged. It was this very like 1984 dystopian thing you know, good thing, you know, luckily a judge dismissed that, but the corporate outlets, they bandied together for this journalist with the Des Moines Register, rightly so. But when it's Julian Assange, when he's now persona non grata, because whatever, the Russian boogeyman, uh, they don't touch it. So I really think as terrible as, you know, the Department of Justice and obviously the, the entire deep state, which does exist, uh, is, uh, honestly, I, I think the corporate media is if not equally to more responsible because uh, their silence on this is a, is allowing Assange to basically continue being a political prisoner. Um, I, I, I 100% know just from my own experience, if any of these outlets would start writing op-eds or uh, be voicing displeasure about this, uh, Julian Assange would be free by now. And it's really disgusting that they're not doing that. Yeah. So Kate, tell me, I mean, obviously you have a comedian background as well as doing your show, which I was on, which was really fun. Um, but like you obviously recognize the importance of this. So if you would just speak a little bit like how you got in, like how this impacts you or how you see that this is something that's important to you as well. Well, so 
like a lot of comedians, I am concerned with free speech. Like, I mean, I, it's always something that I thought was important, but I feel like, you know, in comedy, one thing that gets talked about a lot is cancel culture. And people are extremely concerned with free speech as like, this this kind of like pretend thing like if if you say something you know kind of shitty then like people will reply to you on twitter and you're being silenced that's not being silenced um be, being not able to do investigative journalism like you know that's that is a real free speech violation and one thing that i really want to get across to comics um and to other people who have kind of come to um being concerned with like speech issues is no this is actually like ten thousand times more important than whether someone is rude to you and your replies you know yeah i agree i think everybody should be on notice because if somebody can be prosecuted for telling the truth yeah what could happen to comedians <laughs> i mean that you know that's a definite problem Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.